Hello, my name is Joe Shaw. I am your narrator for today. Previously on Ash and Clone's last surprise, we saw Caleb being dragged away by the police for owning an item that was too rare to legally own. This left a lot of Ash and Clone's loyal fans very skeptical as to what happened to Caleb after he was dragged away. In 2013, this information was only revealed to me, Joe Shaw, as to what happened to Caleb. He sent me a private message basically telling me not to tell anyone what happened. So it turns out, Cindy's fashion world was just a distraction to the police to basically get them thinking that Caleb isn't the one who owns this illegal rarity. Then, a few years had passed until 2015 showed up when Caleb uploaded his last video showcasing the illegal rarity. As hours passed since the upload, thinking he can get away with it, Caleb told me that he saw the ghost of an intern who used to work for a police officer in the high rankings in the UK, telling him that the police were looking for him and that he had to run. Since the day, Caleb has not been heard from since. So now that we're celebrating 10 years of Ashen Clone, it's time to reveal as the 10th video of the final 10, the real story behind The Last Surprise. So what you're about to see is the final footage of Ashen Clone, warning everyone that this is going to be his last ever video and then showcasing the illegal rarity. So sit back in your computer chairs as this might be the last time that you will be on the planet Earth as the computer that you're looking at will drag you into that dimension and you won't be able to get back out because this item is so rare. Ashen clone the final curtain call! Hey guys, this is Kayla Waller, Ashen Clone. This is a very quick announcement letting you guys know that this is going to be my last ever video on YouTube. This is it. This is the final curtain call for me. I know I've said in the past that I am, will, won't be making videos anymore. This is it. This is, I will not be making any more videos after this video. As for YouTube's concern, I will be done with that. There'll be no more video making or anything, channel owning or anything, so I don't know how long this video will be up for that. I will be making of the rare item, but it is rarer than the crossover, so if you guys want to see it at all, any fans who used to be a fan of me or still are a fan of me, even you, God's Burden, you might want to check it out when it's uploaded. Watch this space. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. This is Caleb Waller Ashen Clone for the very last time on video on YouTube and this item was and is made by Nintendo and before I start I just want to say that I'm not going to be exposing this item's full identity because only very few people on this planet even know that Nintendo made this so it has to be kept top secret but I can show you at least the box in full so this is what the box well the actual retail box looks completely different to this but this was a special prototype first edition box as you can see it's just completely plain cardboard there is some shelf wear and a bit of damage there but this was sold to me as brand new you can see the uh, hook that's supposed to pop out for it to possibly be hung on a shelf looks like some sort of note which was ripped off from the top part of the box as well 
We do have that code as well, which you saw at the beginning. Flip that over. I don't think that means too much. And then the back of the box is also plain with little damage there. So I'm just going to pop the box over there. Next up is the polyurethane tray, along with a thermometer. Can't flip it over because it has got branding and its case as well, which the uh, thermometer goes in. And we also do have the official sealed Maxell batteries, which normal bog standard game and watch games came with. So, pop that there. So that's the polyurethane tray with the contents, half exposed. Pop that over there with the box. And then this is the unit itself. Yes. Um, so yeah, like I said, I can't expose it fully, but I'll give you a good idea of what some of the device looks like. We have a serial number, a battery cover, again looks very similar to a Nintendo Game & Watch, but isn't a Game & Watch. But you could say it is half a Game & Watch. We'll flip it to that side, and we've got the top bit here again. You can see Game & Watch multi-screens do have that connector on the top. Now I'm just going to take it away so I can open it carefully for you. One second guys. Okay. Yeah, sort of low tech editing there. Well, I didn't really edit anything, but it looked like it was. So I can show you if I carefully move into the camera. That's the best that you're going to get, guys, from this actual device. This was made by Nintendo. And you can see again very similar things to the Game & Watch. The same sort of buttons used. And we've got an alarm clock function down here as well. Don't be entirely fooled by the KMV sticker on the bottom. That's just one of the variants of this device. And now, for the unveiling of the proof. So I'm just going to get the instruction manual, and again carefully only show you part of it, so you can see. Maker, Nintendo Co. Limited Japan. So, that's all for now guys. Thanks for watching. Take care, and this is Ash and Clone Caleb Walla. Hey Gus Bird, you know what? You thought you could beat Kale Water? Well, check this. His legacy has been restored. Darth Vader may kill Obi Wan, but Luke Skywalker comes back and kills Darth Vader. So you just got destroyed thinking you can defeat Kale Water. <laughs> Rarest item in the world. Rarest item in the world. Rarest item in the world. Rarest item in the world What you gonna do with the police after you? You can compete so just rock to the beat He will be remembered for the rest of time Items you can't get, so rare it's a crime Cindy's Fashion World, Game and Watch Crossover Puzzle, Drink Lots of Scotch Naki Yama Mio Ashen's 18 game Caleb Waller Ashen Clone That is your name Rarest item in the world Rarest item in the world Rarest 
item in the world. Rarest item in the world. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, God's burden. Can we love?